Hello, my name is Russell Tovey, and I'm here today with Save the Children for their hashtag Save with Stories campaign. There is a fundraiser that's been set up for kids that are living in poverty. And prior to COVID, there were 4 million kids living in poverty. And now, since COVID-19 has kicked in, there's even more children at risk. So please donate if you can today. Uh, I'm going to be reading a book, a kid's book. Uh, I just want to thank Jennifer Garner, Amy Adams and Poppy Delevingne, all ambassadors and all for getting me involved. So the book I'm going to read today is called Love Monster by Rachel Bright. Here we go. Love Monster by Rachel Bright. This is a monster. Hello, monster. I think you'll agree he's a little bit funny looking, to say the least. He lives in a world of cute, fluffy things, which makes being funny looking pretty darn hard. You might have noticed that everybody loves kittens and puppies and bunnies. You know, cute, fluffy things. But nobody loves a slightly hairy, I suppose a bit googly eyed monster. Poor monster. This might be enough to make a monster feel, well, a bit down in the dumps. But not being the moping about sort, he decided to set out and look for someone who'd love him just the way he was. He looked high. He looked low. He looked middle-ish. He looked inside and out. More than once, he thought that maybe, just maybe, he had found what he was looking for. But, as it turned out, things were never quiet as they seemed. Yes, it would be fair to say that his search did not go well. And then, it didn't go well some more. It didn't go well for such a long time, in fact, that it began to get dark and scary and, well, not very nice. So the monster, having decided, so the monster, having lost all his umph, decided it was time to give up and go home. But in the blink of a googly eye, everything changed. You see, sometimes, when you least expect it, love finds you. Here we go. That was Love Monster by Rachel Bryant. I'm Russell Tovey. Thank you very much. Please donate. Cheers.